My name is Deo Justoguate de Coro Brand. I am a bead worker, clothing designer, cultural dancer, storyteller, and entrepreneur. I began to self identify as an artist when I was about 18 years old, but really the choice was made almost for me by my family members and knowledge keepers who instilled into me the stories of my people. I get to express my identity through textures and turn thoughts into something physical. I love being able to put on clothing and jewelry that tells stories that my ancestors would recognize and that grounds me in my heritage as I go out into the world. Indigenous Arts and Stories is the largest and most recognized art and creative writing competition in Canada for Indigenous youth. It's open to Indigenous youth between the ages of 6 and 29. The contest encourages you to express your voice and perspective on this land's past, present and future. As Indigenous youth, it's important that we express and share our cultural heritage. Artistic expression and sharing our perspectives are ways in which we use creativity to promote the growth and survival of our cultures. So why did I submit to the contest? I realized at an early age that stories have a place in me, a place in the conversation of Indigenous inclusion in the Canadian historical context, and the ability to help Canadians understand the reality for Indigenous peoples today. Indigenous Arts and Stories offers a platform for young Indigenous artists and storytellers to have their voices heard at a national scale and by a jury of exceptional artists and writers. It is a venue through which Indigenous youth are the experts, sharing their insight and knowledge on who we are and why this country needs us. It is a platform to discuss the things that concern us today, like diabetes and heart disease, food insecurities, suicide, language, and life on the reserve. For far too long, the story of us has been told by others. We are alive, we are strong, we are resilient, and we have much to contribute. Participating in this contest can provide opportunities for increased visibility as an artist on the national stage. For many, Indigenous Arts and Stories has served as a launching point for successful careers in the arts. Entries are judged by a panel of notable Indigenous authors, artists, and community leaders. Prizes include up to $2,000 in cash, professional development experiences, and an all-expenses-paid trip to Ottawa for national recognition at the Governor General's History Awards. Everyone's experience is unique. By sharing our personal stories, we create opportunities to build relationships. Sharing our own views helps us find common ground to lead to greater understanding of one another. Storytelling is an important part of the reconciliation journey. Works of art and literature can be transformative learning tools. They can play a role in challenging stereotypes and allowing people across the country to learn about the different experiences, cultures, beliefs, and realities of Indigenous peoples in Canada. We can learn from each other's stories and we can learn more about ourselves through creative expression. The act of creation can be a powerful tool for self-discovery. There is also career benefits to taking part in the contest. It is an opportunity to build a portfolio and to showcase skills and talents. All of our winners are published on our website and winning pieces are often featured in magazines, art exhibitions and at various public events. A thousand years ago, I wanted to be a writer. I discovered that as a writer, you had more control over the universe you created in your mind and on the page than the actual world you lived in. I liked that. Unfortunately, my prospects to develop that dream were largely absent. My grade 11 English teacher even encouraged me to abandon the idea. Evidently, there wasn't much future in such a career, he said. It took me 10 years to once again entertain the idea of a career in writing. As the cliche goes, that was then and this is now. Events like the Indigenous Arts and Stories Contest make that journey just a little bit, if not a whole lot easier for this generation. Encouragement and opportunity are so incredibly important and that's what I like about this contest. I have been a member of this program's jury for a dozen years and every year I am continually amazed at the talent and vision coming out of our youth. Every chance I get when I travel, I tell young writers that there are people and organizations out there that share that same dream they and I had. If you have a story to tell and don't know who to tell it to, contact Historica Canada and the Indigenous Arts and Stories Contest. Don't wait 10 years. And remember, almost everything starts with a story. Thank you. 
Indigenous Arts and Stories asks youth from across the country to create writing or two-dimensional art about a defining moment or theme in Indigenous history, identity, or culture. Writers can submit in any form they like. For example, you can write something as personal and honest as a journal entry, retell a favorite traditional story or legend, or describe a family tradition. Tell a story about your community, write a letter, a poem, a script, a song, or a rap that explores these themes or ideas. Or go to the classic short story, we're open to it all. For visual artists, the only rule is that it has to be two-dimensional. We welcome anything that you can put down on paper, like paintings or sketches. Many participants submit photographs. Create a collage digitally or by hand. Artists can submit line drawings, sketches, and pastels or create something with multimedia or digital media. All work submitted to the contest needs to be original work of the artist, but it doesn't have to be new. Many participants rework pieces that they did as classwork or another project. Stories are everywhere. They are in the books we read, the movies we watch, the songs we sing, and the art we create. In many indigenous cultures, communities and families shared their history through oral storytelling and even different forms of art, such as pictographs or totems. These were some of the ways that earlier generations transmitted their cultures, beliefs, relationships, and ways of life. Indigenous storytelling traditions continue on today, expanding into books, films, plays, sculptures, and paintings. Indigenous Arts and Stories believes that everybody has a story to tell, whether it's in written form or as visual art. In this workshop, we'll give you the tools you need to find your story, tips for creating it, and information on how to share it. You've probably heard of the five W's before. Who, where, what, why, and when. In this workshop, we'll cover how exploring these points can open the door to getting started. Whether it's a piece of writing or visual art, who will your story be about? It can be someone from your life, or the news, or someone you invented. Oftentimes characters are reflections of ourselves, and sometimes our works feature nobody at all. As a writer or artist, it's your job to find the interesting stories. Create a character, create three characters, a young child, a teenager, and an elder. All you writers out there, give them a name, an age, and three different personality traits. For all you visual artists, come up with a quick sketch, considering their age and any emotion that you want expressed. Think of a big space, like a city or even your own reserve. How would they react to being in that space? What are they doing? Why are they there? What does it feel like to them? Is it warm and inviting? Maybe it's cold and lonely. Is it big or small, clean or dirty? If you're writing, use five sensory details to describe it. If you're drawing, sketch the space using up to five colors. Is it a day in the life of your character? Does it take place across one or more years? Is your story intergenerational? Consider researching different eras of the past and what was going on for Indigenous people during that time. Look ahead to the future and fantasize about what the world might look like or think about present day as you know it. All these timelines hold different creative possibilities. All you writers out there, write a journal from the perspective of one of the characters you created that incorporate a concept of time. All you visual artists, create a sketch of a moment that occurs either in the past, present, or future. Is your character in a residential school or involved in the National Inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, or experiencing the long-term impact of pipelines. Writers, decide now what will happen to your characters in your story. What journey are they going on? How will their past impact their behavior during the events of your story? Consider how your character's life will be affected by the events of the story, whether it be in a physical, spiritual, emotional, or mental capacity. What will they learn, if anything, at the end? Visual artists, what story will you tell and what images will communicate that story? What will viewers think of when they look at your work? How will they feel? What will they take away from it? Just like writing a story, think about your artwork in a physical, spiritual, emotional, and mental capacity. Writers, experiment with different forms. Tackle the same story from different perspectives. Write a journal from one character's point of view. Then, 
write an article from a journalist's point of view covering the same story. Visual artists, begin with thumbnail sketches and studies before moving on to a bigger piece of work. The final W asks the biggest question of all when it comes to creation, whether it's a story, a poem, a painting, or a sculpture. This W is here for your reflection. Think about why readers would want to read your story and why your story needs to be told. Think about why viewers are drawn into your artwork and why this piece needs to be shared. Having the answer to these questions means that you've put careful consideration into your idea and now you're ready for that next step, bringing it to life. Provide a collection of photographs. Hand one photo to each student and ask them to write a story or create a piece that inspires them based on that photo. Use the following sentences as prompts for creating a short story or art piece. It was the best day ever. It was the worst day ever. After that, I never swam again. The music was so loud. And then I woke up. Writers, Choose one location and one object, and use both to invent a story or write about a personal experience. Your locations can be summer camp, powwow, a rec center, classroom, a sweat lodge. It could be anywhere. Pick an object. It can be anything. It could be a necklace, camera, keys, a drum, a ring. Visual artists, set up a short, timed freestyle drawing or painting session. Once the time is up, switch with a partner to continue with the piece. Note to teachers, if you are interested in bringing the Indigenous Arts and Stories program into your classroom or would like to encourage students to submit, we offer resources for you online. Consult our teacher's kit for more information. We also offer learning tools for students with project suggestions and engaging activities that offer inspiration for our submissions. You can also visit the website to explore previous winning entries or to learn more. The annual competition deadline is March 31st. Submissions are assessed by a jury of esteemed Indigenous writers and artists, and the winners are announced each June. Participants can submit up to two pieces. You can submit online at our-story.ca forward slash submit or via email to ourstory at historicacanada.ca. Best of luck, everybody. Sadar Sviohak.